He's the architect of the modern America's Cup. And in the second part of our exclusive interview, Sir Russell Coots describes how sailing's most prestigious event might influence sailing in the future. He believes the future for cup racing might lie with simplifying it. By the time they launch their race boats, some teams will have built five boats for this America's Cup cycle. Everyone recognises it would be much simpler if, if ultimately you gravitated to just using one boat and that's certainly where the teams want to go in the future. If you could get it such that you were only using one boat and you were developing that one boat all of the time and that one boat was much more efficient than what the current boats are, then you're really winning and, and, and that's certainly where, as I said, the teams want to take it in the future. It'll happen. But it's not just the boats that will change. He believes that the sailors themselves will play a big part in reshaping the sport. Old style of cup racing you used to come out of the Olympics and you pretty much had to relearn a, a new sport to then be qualified to go and race in the America's Cup. With this one you're seeing sailors come straight out of high performance dinghy, straight out of the Olympic Games and within a very short space of time all the skills that they've developed and continue to develop are immediately applicable to this style of racing. Here once again technology will help. Once we start to measure grinding efficiencies and power and show the viewer heart rates. So two of the sailors on board Oracle Team USA in one of the races in San Francisco, heart rates didn't drop below 180 beats per minute the whole 22 minute race. I think there are the sort of things that we need to bring out in this in the product yet we haven't even started to or give the viewer information on the wind direction on board each of the yachts so that the viewer actually knows more than the sailors on board the boats and can see the picture changing in front of them. But at the heart of the story are people. I'd challenge anyone to watch a sports product where they don't know one of the athletes or at least have read or viewed something about them and, and are intrigued by that athlete. I think it enhances that viewer experience and it's what we really need to work on with this product because as I said people tend to focus on much more on the technology, probably 80% on the technology and 20% on the athletes and I think we've got to at least balance that up to more like a 50-50 or even a 70-30 towards the athlete. And there is no shortage of candidates. We've got some existing, let's say, sailing stars and some developing sailing stars. If I move the clock forward and, and look two, three years out, I think there's some young sailors out there that'll come into this format and absolutely crush it. And that's exciting too, because I think ultimately the next stage of increasing the popularity is to really focus on the personalities. Because I think there are some great competitive elements to it.